A tit-for-tat battle is escalating between Bombardier and Metrolinx, with the Canadian company launching legal action against the provincial agency. It's in response to action Metrolinx took four months ago when it filed a notice of intent to cancel its $770 million deal with Bombardier for light rail vehicles, the ones that will be used on the Eglinton Crosstown and other light rail lines. At the time, Metrolinx stated it's worried Bombardier won't be able to meet its commitment. Bombardier is two years behind on delivering the test model, but claims it's now ready and even provided this footage as proof. A company spokesperson says Metrolinx is to blame for the delay. It is ready to go. Cynthia, come to Kingston, take a look at it. When, has it, when was it ready? October 2016, so it's been ready for a while. But Metrolinx tells me they went to see it in December and that it couldn't even be turned on and that it's nowhere near ready. Yeah, that's not true. But it is two years behind. Yes, um, we have had some difficulties in the past, but those are behind us. Bombardier is also way behind on its delivery of Toronto's new streetcars. After multiple delays, 30 have been delivered, but we should have more than 100 by now. The TTC is suing the company for $50 million in damages. Metrolink sent out a statement in the last hour saying they are, quote, disappointed Bombardier is taking this legal step.